Hello guys, my name is Con Junior for SG6 channel. Today I'm gonna bring another tutorial. So this tutorial is about how to get the text on your Cinema 4D to look like this. It's really cool. You can make an intro out of it if you want to. But I'm not gonna do that, or I can do that. Actually at the end, so yeah. Oh okay, let's just leave that be. Okay, so I'm gonna go to more graph and create a text and I'm gonna write Conray Jr. then I'm gonna go to font and change the font to this font then I'm gonna uh, decrease the height a bit and then and then I'm gonna change the depth to uh, um, I'm gonna change the depth to 80. Then I'm gonna go down here. I'm gonna go down here. Then I'm gonna click on mode text, hold control, and drag down the thing. So this change the depth on this thing to something it's not the same with all the different fonts and to put it into the middle like this then go to caps and fill it cap and start and end so that's gonna make this thing so it looks like this oh. and of course you can call it a thing I'm gonna click here and I'm gonna make this red. I'm gonna make this red. Actually, a bit yellowish. Actually, really yellow. <laughs> then I'm gonna create another thing and it's gonna be um, light blue. A bit lighter. Like that. And then I'm gonna drag this into the mode text number one, and this to the mode text number two. And I've done something wrong. I'm gonna check what I did. Hmm. Okay, so I'm gonna try to decrease the depth. Depth. Yes. Actually, decrease the depth uh, at the start. I. I did that wrong. <laughs> Let's see how this looks. It looks very really nice. So you can add a floor by clicking here and click clicking on floor. Actually drag the uh, actually go to click on mode text number one, hold shift down and click on the mode text num number two. And then click Alt and G and that makes it into a uh, group rename the group to um whatever you wrote here so you don't need to hold both to move them around like I did before so I'm gonna click on the Connor Jr. thing I'm gonna drag this up a bit then I'm gonna cr go to make a new uh, material and then I'm gonna make it a bit white because I think white looks really good and then I'm gonna click on the reflection button I'm gonna go to Fresnel and I'm gonna lower the strength actually the brightness and then lower the strength so I'm gonna drag this down here and let's see how this looks it looks really nice so yeah I'm gonna click on this and hold C and drag it down so that makes another floor and I'm gonna call this something <laughs> um, run actually background and then I'm gonna click on this button Bolton what the fuck click on this button and drag it to um, 90 degrees. I'm gonna click here again and I'm gonna click 
click on the background and drag it behind it. Okay, so let's see how this looks now. Now you can see it has. Oh, I can do this. Drag that color at the, to into the background. Actually, that didn't help with <laughs> anything. But yeah. Um. How has and yeah, then you can click up here and at the light. Can drag this up so it looks. Actually, I'm gonna drag it a bit back. So I get this cool shadow and this light up here. So, yeah. Okay, so that's just the basic tutorial about the text. If you want it like this at, mo at your background. Or, or also, you can go to more text and, and make an actually. Uh, more graph and then make a new text. I'm just gonna um, put my YouTube down here slash ac6 and I'm gonna click on font and change this to imagine font. And then I'm gonna decrease the height very, very much. Then gonna make a new color. It's gonna be this color. Then actually that's the reflection. Be a little bit more. Then you can click on the reflection button and drag and then make the brightness a bit lower. So. Actually, you can click on glow, and that's gonna basically glow a bit. So I'm gonna see how this looks. Let's some more text, and let's see. Okay, so so this is the glow. It looks very very nice. I didn't do the glow right here. But yeah, I made just like turkeys and then purple, um, purple reflection. So. And then just make you fuck around with the camera. So I'm just gonna make a a really really short intro just for the lol, so you can see what see what I mean and stuff. Okay, so it's gonna I'm gonna go back out here, click the keyframe, go on to 60 frames, go over here. And then I'm gonna. <laughs> I <laughs> actually forgot that I recorded there. So yeah, I'm gonna move this to this angle and click the time mark again, keyframe again. And then I'm gonna zoom out. Zoom out. And then, ah, oh, come on. And then I'm gonna get this into the center real quick. And then I'm gonna click on the time uh, on the keyframe again, so it's gonna look like this. It's this basic thing. So yeah. Then you just go to the render settings and go to the width to uh, 1280 and the height to 720. Remember to put this from 
zero and two the thing where it ends. So mine is um, ni um, ninety. Then click on save and cl get the uh, click on a every I'm away and just go save it. Save the tutorial. Then and then go to where you saved it. So I'm gonna go to my desktop. Oh my god, fuck desktop and go to my work thing. And then go and click save. And then you just click this button and it begins to render. So yeah, thank you for watching and peace.